Hi guys, welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider PU build for the Better Channel, which is the build 22635.4805. This build for the Better Channel has a few new interesting features and also some improvements to existing features that were tested by Microsoft a few builds ago. So we may say that this build is quite an interesting one. And of course, stay tuned for all the features that I'll be showing you in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. This video is sponsored by VAP SED Key. On this platform, you can find cheap and reliable licenses for software and games. For example, you can get a Windows 11 Pro license at a very good price, and by using the coupon code TB at checkout, you can get an additional 25% discount. If you're still using Windows 10, the same coupon code can be applied also to a Windows 10 Pro license. If you're interested in Office products, you can get Office 2016 for example, and by using the same coupon code TB at checkout, you can get the license at a very good price with a 25% discount. Windows 11 Pro can be easily activated using the license by going to activation settings, change product key, and then Windows 11 will be activated within seconds. For more information, you can check out VAP ACD key from the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, we have to talk about Snap in Windows 11. Basically, Snap in Windows 11 is a feature that will improve snapping of apps and of Windows, and uh, that can be accessed while hovering over the maximize button. You're going to have this section where you can snap an existing window besides other apps or in certain corners of the screen. And also, if you drag a window, we're going to have also this snap bar at the top, which will help you snap your window better or show you that keyboard shortcut that you can use, Windows plus C, which will open the snap flyout where you can use your preferred app layout. But there are a few improvements to this, which I'm going to show you in this video. And there are multiple variants that Microsoft is testing out. First of all, we're going to talk about the snap flyout that we can find in in the file explorer whenever we are hovering over the maximize button. So as you can see, I have here a few apps open. I'm going to close one of the notepad instances and you're going to see that, of course, it provides us with some recommendations where we want to snap our file explorer window besides notepad or besides both notepad and paint, which is pretty useful. Also, if you open multiple apps, of course, multiple apps will be shown in the maximize section and that will be depending on the apps you last used and opened. So for example, if I were to open the notepad, you're going to notice that it will show the notepad instead of the settings app, which I used the last. Now the multiple variants that Microsoft is testing out will change the way this looks and the description of this snap layout. So let me show you the first variant. We have five different variants and I'm going to show you all of them in this video. The first variant, as you'll know, has no text, no description, just the keyboard shortcut for the snap layout, Windows plus C, and also this icon, which basically shows you how to activate the snap layout without a keyboard shortcut. And that is by hovering over the maximize button of a window. The next variant is variant number one, which will show you choose where to move this window. The second variant will show choose where to arrange this window. The third variant will show choose choose where to snap this window and the fourth variant or the fifth variant if we were to count correctly choose an app layout for your screen what i've done here i've tested all the variants and i've tested them by running a command with different variants you can check more info about this in the article below or on x.com slash phantom of earth because he shows you exactly how to test these things out but basically i've just used some commands with five tool to test out all the different variants now let's test out all the different variants for the snap bar that appears at the top and for this we have three different variants. We have the first one which says drag a window here to arrange it on your screen alongside with the keyboard shortcut Win plus C. The second one will show drag a window here to arrange your screen and the third one will show drag a window here to snap it on your screen. This is basically the same. I run this command and I used three different variants. As I've said, check out the article below if you want to see more info about how we can test these out for yourself on the better channel. So these are basically the improvements and all the things that Microsoft has a officially announced related to snap on windows of course new things related to the snap flyout and also the snap bar these are some useful things in my opinion so you can test them out if you want on your better channel build moving on we have quite a revolutionary new feature in the better channel which is something pretty huge in my opinion and this was discovered by phantom over on x.com so make sure to check him out so let me show you this feature basically to share a file right now you can drag it from a location for example file explorer and 
a top bar will appear which says drag here to share and if I'm gonna hover over with the drag file above that bar this new section will appear which includes some of the apps that I can use to share that file to. So I have snipping tool, paint, outlook, mail, feedback hub and if I were to let it go over more options it will open the share section or the share window. I think this is quite a nice feature because you can just drag a file and drop it for example in paint and just open it with paint. You no longer have to right click on the file open with paint of course you can just drag it and hover over paint of course this feature is in the testing zone it is not officially announced by microsoft it is hidden and microsoft is working on it behind the scenes so it may be bugged but i think it is a very nice and welcome feature i think it's a feature that will improve productivity in windows 11 a lot so of course you can do that with any file for example if i have a file on my desktop just drag it and hover it over some app for example snipping tool or i can just select another app or more options it will open the share window so I think this is a really nice new addition in Windows 11. There are also some improvements to voice access. The voice access feature is getting support for more languages, Chinese from Taiwan and Japanese. So this is also something pretty useful for people from those areas. This was also discovered by Phantom of Earth. Also related to input after being temporarily disabled to address some issues with build 22635.4400, Microsoft is beginning to rule out a new gamepad keyboard flout for the touch keyboard in Windows 11. Again, this change includes the ability to use your Xbox controller to navigate and type, and also button accelerators, for example, X button for backspace, Y button for spacebar. Additionally, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. Related to narrator, Microsoft is adding some new functionalities to narrator scan mode, jump to list items, or the ability to quickly jump to the beginning or end of large tables, lists, or landmarks. So you can check more info about that in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. Related to the settings app, Microsoft is adding the PC Game Pass card inside the homepage, which will help Game Pass Ultimate and PC Game Pass subscribers to see more info about their subscription directly from the Settings app homepage. And in this build, we don't have any particular fixes stated by Microsoft, but we have a few new known issues. For example, a new known issue related to the Start Menu. Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing Start Menu to crash for some insiders when interacting with the letters in the app list. So if you are going to name list and interact with the letters, sometimes this could crash. And also Microsoft is investigating an issue causing File Explorer to be very slow to close for some insiders when closing using the X button. This may also impact the other title bar buttons. As you can see, you can notice it whenever you're clicking on X, it is a slight delay, but of course this will be fixed in a future build. So this is the build for the beta channel that was released by Microsoft yesterday. I think we have some nice new features in this one. Of course, the improvements for Snap and Windows and also the new drag to share bar that appears at the top. I think these are some new improvements and new additions from Microsoft. Of course, more information will be in the article below on the official Microsoft blog post or on x.com slash phantom of earth, where you can find all the latest hidden features in Windows 11. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.